good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it's the first time I'm here on this uh, conference of Arnika, not like Jota, more often, but uh, I'm the first time and very much thanks uh, for this invitation to this uh, conference. Yeah, um, uh, I hold this uh, uh, presentation often uh, in German, but uh, the first time in English, so uh, luckily I'm playing in a rock and roll band and uh, uh, you got some uh, rock and roll English now. Uh, so. <coughs> Uh, the topic is care and renewal of road greenery in Mecklenburg Vorpommern. And this uh, is a map of Germany, and you see Mecklenburg Vorpommern is a federal state uh, in the northeast of Germany. Uh, a very few population, so 1.6 million people only, but a very big area, 23,000 square kilometers. It's uh, the third of uh, Czech uh, Republic, and you see uh, uh, very few people, very big area, and very big nature, and very a uh, lot of trees <coughs> beside the roads, and uh, it's the land, these are landmarks uh, for the whole country, and uh, this is very important for tourism, and so we are a very um, uh, progressive uh, with tree caring and the uh, UN. This is the organization of road authority in Mecklenburg Vorpommern. Uh, we have a ministry of uh, infrastructure and uh, then uh, in the middle a state office of roads, construction and traffic. That's the place where I'm working now in the state office. And then we have uh, some road uh, construction offices and a section for motorway and the road operation centers that do the, uh, the work on the street. Um, now we have the federal law of alleys in mecklenburg vorpommern um, We are the only federal state in Germany where the uh, protection and development of alleys is uh, in the con constitution of the country. Um, and uh, in the constitution there is uh, there is that all people, all citizens, all stakeholders have to care and renew uh, um, alleys and take their part in this pro progress, in this process. So, um, we have um, a decision of the parliament that uh, every five years we have a report about alleys. <coughs> And uh, we started in uh, 2008, we have the first report about the care and development, and 2040 there was a second report. So the parliament looks and uh, uh, communicates to the citizens how to deal and what the, the work uh, and the development of the alleys in the country. Um, here we have um, a mapping of alleys uh, from the environmental ministry and we see that uh, only 18% of the whole net of streets are guided by alleys here. and it's because uh, there are a lot of communal, communal streets, communal streets with uh, few uh, alleys and uh, um, a lot of uh, trees at the federal uh, roads and the state roads. So this is uh, the report of the alleys. You can download it at the website of the government of, of the country. So, uh, a very important thing to deal with Alice is a cadastral 
for LHVs for the federal and state roads. I'm talking here about the federal and state roads because our state office is uh, responsible for this two uh, kind of streets. Um, these are digital, digital uh, tools for tree control and they are used by the workers of the road operation centers. They uh, all have, um, we have in each road operation center some workers who are only uh, responsible for the care of trees. And they have these tools and so they can um, control the trees with these things and they can do very interesting uh, things. They, they can control the crown, they can control the tribe, they can control the roots and the surrounding of the trees. And then they have, uh, they, they can online have a map where the tree is located. They can uh, uh, report the conflicts of each uh, tree um, and they can uh, propose measures for each tree. So, and this uh, is in a geographical informa information system, in a database system, these data of the workers are uh, put inside and uh, we can uh, manage maps uh, with this information. Uh, the starting of this was uh, a mapping of uh, of the traffic signs besides the roads and the, the trees are only barriers beside the, the roads and uh, we from the environmental section says why don't why do we use it only as barriers we must take all this information of the trees in this database system and so we have um, for each tree a number and the uh, information about each tree with species, uh, distance to, uh, to road and, and so on. And you can get more information uh, about each, each tree. And these are data, data sheets for, from the tree control results for every tree. You have um, the, the street, the, the number of the tree, the uh, kilometers where it is, and so you have, you have the information about the crown, the tribe, the, um, uh, the roots, and the surroundings. Uh, and we, we have documented the uh, uh, changing of surroundings, uh, sinking of groundwater, um, um, and building besides the trees and also. And um, yes, it's a, a very big database uh, where we can handle with, uh, with, the, tree, with the trees and this. You know, we have the control, the history of controlling of every tree. Uh, when the workers were at the tree, they get the data, the, 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 um, the year when they were there, and the results of the control. Uh, on this, uh, um, on this data, we uh, we built a module for LA statistics. Um, this is an uh, analysis of the tree rows with the special software, and now we can document if uh, is there is a single tree, are there uh, jack rows of trees, or is there a compact rows of trees? And so we can generate uh, the form of the alleys. We can, if on both sides of the streets, we have compact alleys. It's a compact, a compact um, 
for three rows, we have uh, a compact alley. So we can um, make, um, we, we can ask this, uh, uh, this uh, statistic module, and we can have a statistic charts for the whole country, for one road construction office, or a, of, uh, for a road operation center, or a single street. And you have detailed information about the uh, uh, number of trees, about the form of the alley, and the uh, form of the tree rows. And that you can make every single day you have the actual um, the actual statistic from the, uh, from the whole alleys of the country. Uh, this is um, a kind of communications for citizens of the government. Uh, we have an uh, interactive map of areas on the website, of our, of our website, the State Office of Road Construction. There you can, uh, uh, you can check the whole um, forms of alleys. You can go down there to each tree and you get information about the species and uh, the street number, the uh, perimeter, and uh, when the tree is planted. Uh, each citizen can inform this, uh, get, can get information about this, but uh, the very special results of tree controls, uh, and the conflicts and so, they are not for the uh, for the citizens, they are only for the authority to to deal and to work uh, for the caring of the trees. Uh, now, I'll show you some statistic data of the alleys. Um, we have 41% um, of federal and state roads with alleys and tree roads. Um, and here you, you see the whole um, the whole state of uh, of the alleys, 2,000 kilometers on federal uh, and state roads, and 200 kilometers on cycle tracks, because we have uh, an increasing. Uh, alley uh, planting on cycle, cycle tracks uh, because we built a lot of cycle tracks and most of them are planted with alleys. Uh, now, another statistic data we have 46% um, of old trees planted before 1990 and 44% of young trees planted after 1990. Uh, now, uh, every year we make a statistic of felling and planting. And uh, a report also for the environmental ministry. Um, you know, we have some very, uh, very nice and beautiful trees. This is one of my favorite uh, alleys. And sometimes we have this state, but. Um, if someone would do this with this alley, I would chain me on the, on the trees and uh, save them. But um, you know, we have this is a um, felling for road construction or reconstruction of this tree. And um, the thing is that uh, the felling of road construction is. Not not so high, but we have a lot of fellings by tree control and traffic safety. You see, this is a red line. Uh, in the report, in the actual report from 2008 to 2014, we have um, 
29 uh, thousand uh, fellings and plantings uh, 37 thousand people uh, pieces and um, there of uh, 40,600 for road construction but uh, 25,000 from tree control. Um, this is uh, the increase of alleys and tree roads uh, about the last years from 1996 to 2040. We have uh, 300 kilometer more alleys and tree roads about this, um, uh, about this time. Uh, the care of alleys, uh, of tree alleys, um, this is uh, the these are the costs for uh, edit caring. Uh, see in the LA report 2008, we have 1.5 million for the caring of uh, the LA, and uh, 2014, we have 2.6 million euros for caring. It's increasing and uh, plus. The planting of trees, we have 4 million euros uh, for every year for the caring and renewal of the trees. Um, now a very um, important thing is to, to get concepts and a strategy for the development of the alleys. And we go from single concept to a strategy for the whole country. Uh, these are some newspapers of a pilot project we uh, made in 2004. Uh, it was an LA uh, concept and uh, with um, big uh, uh, resonance in the um, in the newspapers, and uh, this research project we make uh, with students of the University of Rostock. They do the mapping of the alleys uh, beside of the roads. And this was before we had this program. Uh, I, I told you before. Now we don't have to send students or send other people along the road because we have all data in our data system and we can, can generate all data that we need. Uh, this is a documentation of realization of local concept. You know, here at the, the green, there are realized areas, this are planning, and the red are this some uh, with uh, problems uh, that are to uh, solve. A uh, very important thing is our fact sheets of measures for some, uh, for some avenues. You have here the status quo of the street and here the development concept and this is uh, development concept for about eight kilometers with 1,000 uh, trees to plant. Um, and this is the whole strategy of uh, uh, for for uh, for dealing with alleys. Uh, we have this cadaster for the trees. We have the statistic module. And then we have a protection program. We have a manual for the uh, for the trees, and we have a LA uh, development program. And here the realization of that one. And uh, the actual pro program is the LA protection program. Here you have the conflicts and keyword we heard about in some reports or in some presentations. This day, we have diseases, we have desiring salt, we have farming, we have traffic safety, roadside, and so on. 
and this uh, endangered the alleys here. We have farming uh, beside the trees, and uh, uh, the roots are damaged by plowing. And uh, therefore, uh, we uh, take measures against it and protection with oak tree stakes here, you see. Uh, we, we buy this land and we make these oak trees to, to save the trees. Uh, this is another damage uh, uh, by farming, uh, cutting tree jobs by farmers and so on. Um, you see, um, trees are very endangered by land using and therefore we make this protection program and as, as a pilot project, we make it for the uh, German Eddy Road. German Eddy Road is from Rügen uh, through Germany to the Bodensee. And we make this pilot project, protection program, for 300 kilometers of street uh, in Mecklenburg Vorpommern. <coughs> Um, you see the statistic, uh, the whole um, streets, 41% uh, with LA and tree roads. The German LA roads, there are 52% uh, of uh, trees. And therefore, it's very important to protect uh, this, uh, this street. Uh, now we have here the percentage of young and old trees on the German LA Road. Uh, 37% new uh, planting and 63% of old trees. And this is uh, the protection program. It's divided in three parts. We have an edu evaluation status quo of the alleys. We have an evaluation or assessment of landscape planning and an assessment for land management. And it's, it's uh, very important for protecting trees by buying properties besides the trees, buying new properties for tree planting, and it's, it's should uh, be a transmission of methods for all federal and state roads in the country. Uh, this is, uh, here we have uh, the safety, the protection program, and then we develop a uh, development uh, LA program because, you see, in 2004 we start with this concept of uh, LA development, and here we have a lot of planting. Uh, between 6,000 and 8,000 uh, um, uh, trees every year. Uh, about this whole uh, time, we plant 120,000 new uh, um, trees on the federal and state roads. But you know, here as a decrease, uh, the concept doesn't function here, and now we need a new, uh, a new program, a new development program to get uh, better data and uh, better statistics. Ten minutes. Ten minutes. Ah, five. 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 Oh, okay. <laughs> Uh, now, I have five minutes for some best practice examples. Um, you know this, uh, this fact sheet of measures, and uh, I show it, and this is the street. Uh, there we planted uh, 1,000 uh, trees, about uh, 8 kilometers, and we get the land here by reorganization of land holdings. It's an instrument uh, can use, uh, it, it's a law in Germany, we can use this instrument reorganization of land and we uh, construct new this uh, side of the street and then we plant the trees and we get um, enough land uh, that the trees are 
uh, have a uh, safe uh, standing here, the same road. This is another example. We have about 10 kilometers of reconstruction of a road. Um, this is uh, um, the state before the reconstruction. We have um, we, we have old uh, popular trees. We have fruit trees, uh, and uh, it was a very mishmash of different sort of alleys and trees and uh, gaps between them. And uh, we have a new uh, concept for this 10 kilometers. The street must be uh, taken away. The street must be taken away because of uh, pollutants, pollutants into the soil here. And uh, then we construct fully new the whole street and it is constructed to get the optimal um, locations for tree planting. So we get on this road uh, a thousand new, uh, thousand new trees uh, by um, organizing this project uh, for tree planting. Okay. Now you see this uh, alley besides the uh, bicycle road and uh, uh, this is another project uh, of, and this is a very uh, one of our biggest project between Bad Oberland and the motorway A20. We have here uh, 1,800 oaks and maple trees uh, uh, by the reconstruction and building a new cycleway here. So some slides uh, I'm ready now. Uh, this is a street with uh, cycle rows and this is uh, the alleys of the future. You see we made a visualization of this uh, road in 80 years and in 200 years and then this is the alley we have in 200 years <laughs> and uh, this is a picture of the alley of the future because we must have a greater distance from the road three and a half or four and a half meters and meanwhile in Germany planting only with crash barriers <coughs> crash barriers must um, must be set beside the tree but it's, it, it's not so a big problem we plant the new trees and we build the crash barrier and its function it functions so I think this is the last slide yes many thanks for your attention Thank <laughs> you.